was my little chipmunk friend. He's here every day I'm here. There he goes. Chipmunk. Chipmunk. He's got a little hole over there somewhere. And he goes. In case you didn't know, that's the reason they're called chipmunks, because that's the noise they make when they accelerate. Chipmunk, chipmunk, chipmunk. <laughs> What? Dang.
Well, it's a twofer at the bushcraft camp. At the bushcraft camp, I'm going back to bed. I'm going back to bed. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's basically it's the next day from the last video that you saw. I decided because it was too cold to stay over that I might as well come back the next day which is something I don't get to do very often when I stay overnight because normally you're pretty tired and you have things to do so decided to come back and set myself a mission of trying to complete the back wall um, which I, I mean I did, I said I was gonna work till 2 o'clock which it is now I probably need like two more pieces as well and I need to clean up the ones that I just got recently. But I mean, it's kind of rinse and repeat really for footage wise, it's just doing the same thing over and over again. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's getting there, it's coming along. It's gonna need a tarp under it because it's not waterproof unless of course uh, in the spring I put like debris on it but I think a tarp under there to keep it nice and waterproof and it'll be it'll be good to go. I think next time I come here will be to stay overnight. I do want to fill in that piece underneath the down tree here and add one more log to the fire reflector and then after that I think what I'm going to do is there's a dead tree right there behind the camera and there's another tree here so I think maybe I'll chop that tree off and then make another wall here but I'm not sure I know I need to cut the, that tree off so it doesn't fall on me but I don't know if I want to like build the wall like well, maybe, maybe do like a build a wall like the fire reflector style with the two posts dug in and then take them out. Because I'm thinking if at some stage I might build that out so if anyone else comes they can sleep in that here. Um, but I think it's long enough this way, deep enough, that you could have people going. Um, not horizontally, but lengthways in there. But yeah, as you can probably see, it's snowing. And I didn't bring my waterproof jacket. Luckily, this is wool, so it won't. I'll stay warm, but it'll get wet, which is annoying because I wanted to cook some lunch. I've got some shaved ribeye steak to make tacos, so. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Practice my fire lighting skills in the wet and snow because we've all seen how that goes from my upside down fire video. So let's give it a try. All right, food time. I don't know why, but it's quite satisfying watching someone saw and chop wood. It is to me anyway. Especially if you get oh, a good one. Like that. Bleeding. 
You made me bleed my own blood. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. I keep finding random rocks, which is good. Hopefully at one point I'll get enough to make a decent fireplace. I get these smaller twiggy bits. Yeah. Oh, birch bark gone everywhere. Now, a lot of people told me I should shave the birch bark, but I've never met one with hair on it. Well, <laughs> I'm kidding. So that's what I'm gonna try and do with this bit. We'll see, see if my knife's sharp enough. Make sure my knife's dry. That looks alright. Nope, oh, it's starting to go through. That's too thick. Let's try that. Stay out of it, stump. This isn't your fight. This is my fight. Me and Fire Steel have to juke this out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Would you know it? 
We'll make a bushcrafter out of you yet, Robert. Well, that's not a good tinder bundle or kindling one. More sticks. Well, it's almost starting to feel like home in here, which means there's only one thing to do. There's rummage, and that's rummage through my bag. Celebration. <sighs> Cheers, guys. Chin chin, my favorite. Bud Light. A Bud Latte. So let me show you what I've got. Extra thin, shaved, ribeye steak. Tortilla bowl. This is some, doesn't look great, but it's a chopped salad, bacon, and blue cheese kit, and it's actually really nice. It's kind of like cold slaw. I'll show a picture of it in now somewhere. And for the steak, I've got a little bit of chipotle seasoning. Chipotle away. Another South Park reference. Obviously, butter. I apologize for all the single use plastic bags. It's terrible, I know. I need to get some little, some of those little Nalgene spice bottles that I've seen people have. And then, put on top, this is a blue brand, creamy buffalo cayenne hot sauce. Pull a little squeeze of that on top. Bada bing, bada boom. Can't, it's just, you'll see. Hopefully I won't burn the steak to the pan. It's kind of hard with the pine because it doesn't give me a good coal and then I've got to cook on the flame and it burns hot. So anyway, let's get the pan out. The pan out. Got my Walmart bag. The best thing about all this garbage is I can just take it down to the river and throw it in. <laughs> oh no, so I'm kidding, obviously. I wouldn't do that. I just wanted to... I know someone was about to just... In the comments, get all fired up. Obviously don't do that, never do that. Recycle when possible. Number one rule is never talk about Fight Club. But the second rule is you never talk about Fight Club. But then after that, the third rule is you pack out what you pack in always. If you want to enjoy the woods, you got to respect it, look after it, keep it clean. So that's what I will be doing with all of this stuff. So let's get my butter in my pan.
Thing is, I found this stump, which is all right, isn't it? But it's not level on the bottom, so it's kind of like riding a rodeo bull right now, or one of those children's rodeo bulls, which would be a bullock for anyone who didn't know. Can't make a beef cake without plenty of beef. Alright, throw in some chipotle. Not too much. That'll do.
voila. Well, I just realized the camera head was loose and it fell down again, so. Probably missed the first bite, but yeah. So good. It's got like a smoky flavor to it from the fire. The flavors just complement each other so well. The nice thing about that chopped salad kit is it's got a crunch to it. Adds a bit of texture to it. What do they call it? A mukbang. Which, I mean, a mukbang is when they eat and talk, right? So that's probably what this is, not ASMR, I hope no one's watching this, like, listening to me eat, like, ugh. Yeah, got my little stump, found that, I guess maybe someone logged in here, years and years ago. I don't know, maybe that's why there's a bit of a clearing right here, or new growth anyway. I would explain why there's a lot of pines all in one area. Probably used to be owned by a logging company. Oh, spicy. This is good stuff. They do a bunch of them. This is the second one I've had from them. Blue Top brand, Buffalo Cayenne Creamy Hot Sauce, not associated with Brooks and Birches sponsored in any way but if it's good I'll tell you and if it's bad like my gloves I'm sure you know I will also tell you so yeah starting to feel feel like home starting to get there because they fill in the bit underneath this log, cut out a nice little table. Can still use further down. There's a working log, as I have been doing. And yeah, happy. Couldn't be happier right now. So I'm probably going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please give it a like if you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.